What's up, guys? Boatscrub here. That's that's what I just. Uh, my interns are great. So welcome back to another speed paint. Um, today we will be doing Pokemon because I don't do Pokemon enough. What do you say? I do enough Pokemon? Shut up, sir. You have no rights. Anyway, so um, for the last Pokemon I drew was Hunt Hill, which I drew for a collaboration. Now. I'm also drawing Rayquaza, Rayquaza, whatever, for the same collaboration. Um, cool. Yeah, I mean, it's one of pe it's it's many people's favorite Pokemon or like favorite legendary. I mean, I can see why it's a giant, big ass, green Chinese dragon kind of thing. It looks rad, and I got to draw it, so I was like, "Yeet, very cool, sir." Also imposing because it needed to be big, and honestly. Doesn't matter what you draw, because you're gonna look at all the other Pokemon that are being drawn in collaboration and be like, hey, this one falls out for cause reasons, right? And that's how you feel all the time. Now, I had some trouble at first, as you can see, some multiple sketches I did for this big old beast. Because I wanted him to have a dynamic pose. I could have just done a straight line, but nah, fam, not that. Not doing that. So you can actually tell me in the end if you... Um, think the sketch I eventually went with uh, is the best one I made, or if you would have preferred me work out the other ones. Now, requires a big old green boy. Um, kind of similar in body type of Huntil, that's a big serpent. Um, yeah, so I had I had some trouble, because I just did Huntil, right? And I did Huntil in a, in a pose which was natural, and I was like, I kind of want to create Reza as well, and this this guy, I remember him from the Deoxys movie a lot, that he could just twists and turns and just fucking obliterates things in his path, and I wanted him to be intimidating, or, and, and like, being himself, just fucking twisting and turning, right? That's what I really want. Need him to be big. By the way, this drawing is really big. Um, I kind of... Now, th this what you're currently seeing is a sketch I eventually went with. Um, it, it had a lot of um, addition and freaking changes. And the one thing I kind of... Uh, kind of weird, right? Because it, it's such a big, long Pokemon. And I just thought it would be... Uh, like, I drew him pretty neatly. I think one part that should have been a bit longer is the bit between his first and second um, kind of wings. I don't see them as wings, but I don't have a better description, like the red pieces, plates. But that's that. Now, I don't know about you, but <laughs> I need to do a lot with lightning and whatnot. That shit hard. And look at all these sketches I'm doing. I think I drew in the wrong layer as well. Good times, good times, Pokemon. I hope you like the Pokemon drawings, because there's gonna be like at least two more, because, um, this collaboration ended a little bit ago, and I'm already up for the next one, which will probably be one of the next couple of videos you'll see. So, that's fun. Uh, on that, Pokemon. Pokemon good, I think. Pokemon good. <sighs> Look at this. Look at this man. Yellow and green. What do you say about big dragon Pokemon? I mean, we can talk about his game appearances, I suppose. I played Pokemon Emerald on emulators because they didn't sell it no more when I was young. Like, my first Pokemon game of actual trainers was Platinum, I do. Yeah. Uh, I think Rayquaza is pretty nice. I remember when Emerald playthroughs that you got him and you were like, hmm. Look at this team of like 50 or 60, look at the Rayquaza from level 70 that just obliterates things. Uh, feels good. He was a good boy. But the best thing, uh, oh yeah, the best Rayquaza story I actually have is that I shiny hunted him on my Pokemon Soul Silver, um, and I finally got him to appear, and boy did that man not want to be caught. So, no, bad thing number one, I did not have a Master Ball. Whoops, my bad, because I shiny hunted Lugia, Ho, and Groudon before that. Acquired, by the way, aren't that cool? And this Rayquaza just came up and was like, "Ha, huh, neat!" The dread ca ca uh, catching him, and this fucking motherfucker just ends up struggling himself so low that he needs to do one more struggle. Fucking dies, but he doesn't because I eat one last uh, 
freaking dusk ball at him and I catch him. You know, dusk ball, like the, my, one of my favorite Pokeballs. I'm like, boy, that's pretty nice. I would have been really upset. Okay. Like, it, it's full odds, my dudes. I don't know how long you guys have been playing Pokemans, but um, before Black and White, there was no way to increase odds, and it was like 1 in 8,000 something else. I don't remember the exact quote. And then X and Y, the, uh, the baseline got dropped. Like, it got halved. So, nowadays, shinies are way less rare, and I kind of don't like it. Like, I like the addition of the um, shiny hunting uh, techniques. Uh, those are fun. Uh, I don't. I, I've not played Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. That one is a shit one. I don't remember. But the other ones were nice, like the chain fishing and the chain thing in Poker I really like those. But just the general upping of of encounters in general, kind of kind of a bad move. move get bad move. Bad move. Game freak. Bad move. But whatever. I can't. I can't stop them. I mean, some random YouTube nobody person that does some drawings and likes Pokemon. Like, what kind of influence do I have? Not any, unless you guys give me like one million thousand people follower people and then give me influence and stock credit. And then influence Game Freak from the outside and then become on the inside and just say make a good game and they're like, we don't work in Pokemon anymore because we're bad. Like, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's that. Um, that, that That's that. That's that for the Pokemans, my dude. That, that, that's I, I, I drew him. That's him. LK Joy is um, a weird rambling of me, which is totally fun, isn't it? Haha. <laughs> Aren't I one of those good talking men people? No? Not really? Oh. Well. Darn. Shucks. <laughs> it's too bad. <laughs> That's uh seems like a you problem, my dude. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.